Olga Kartyuk, who grows to be an experienced personal evaluator, <laughs> is honored today to evaluate Inessa Kaldoska, who is very close to receiving her competent communicator award. Olga. Dear friends, hello everybody, hello Nessa. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank you for uh, having me as a personal evaluator. I'm very uh, grateful for you, I'm grateful for that. And um, I would like to start my evaluation with uh, the words uh, thank you about your topic and uh, thank you for your story because I really like it as I'm also trying to travel, you know, to travel a lot and especially I would like to visit all those uh, places you mentioned. So it's really a dream for me and already now it is an inspirational speech for me. So uh, the name of this manual, the last one, is Inspire Your Audience. And according to this manual, your aim was to motivate the audience to improve personally, emotionally, uh, by finding their basic needs, feelings and etc. What you did was you told us an inspiring story, definitely, but um, you didn't um, turn it to the audience. So you just uh, was telling us about yourself. Yes, it was like a, the, for the icebreaker speech, but maybe of a 10th level. Uh, I think, first of all, you need to um, say more words like you are and I, want, I would like you to know more. I want you to try this or that. So. Uh, to have the audience and to, to be, uh, to have the audience involved, involved in your speech. So uh, you uh, had really a very good uh, story. And uh, what about motivating listeners to adopt higher noble feelings and goals? It's uh, another aim. Uh, you did well, but uh, maybe you could add some examples. Not like be optimistic or have some romanticism. Maybe you could add some examples like. Uh, bring a flower to your friend, or write, uh, or just draw a smile and give uh, this note to someone, for example. Just be optimistic, be romantic, do some things, so add some examples. And what about the presentation itself? Uh, I liked your voice, it was quite loud, and I liked your speech. Sometimes when I hear people standing here on the stage, they use very complicated phrases. I think they don't need them to inspire people and to persuade them. We don't need all these difficult words. Just use simple phrases uh, that will be really uh, easy to follow and to understand. That, that was really very good. But what I can recommend you is to be more emotional, first of all, because it's the 10th project to inspire and uh, to bring some feelings and emotions to people. And also try to move on the stage, yes, to uh, interact more with the audience. So everything you say, all these beautiful, nice words and your story, they will be more attractive when you use all these gestures and emotions on your face. So uh, I hope that my evaluation will be useful for you and I would like to thank you for your 10th project and congratulations. So now you are eligible for the CC award and I hope that you will keep moving on and deliver your speeches and make us all feel happy and optimistic. Thank you.